Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the highly anticipated premiere of season two of the Kenya Airlift program show. But before we delve into the captivating story awaiting us, we want to extend our heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you. Your steady first presence has inspired us to continue sharing stories that resonate with hope and possibilities. And as we embark on season two, we are thrilled to kickstart our journey with an extraordinary episode, one that encapsulates the true essence of resilience, determination, and transformative power of education. Today, we shine a spotlight on Erastas Mwangi, a beacon of hope emerging from Korogosho, one of the slums neighborhoods in Nairobi, Kenya. We will trace his remarkable journey from Korogosho all the way to Indiana University of Pennsylvania as he embarks on an MBA in business analytics. We will also delve into the remarkable journey that Erastas has undertaken through the Kenya Airlift program in pursuit of his American dream. We'll also explore a chance encounter with Honorable Wanjiko Mohia, the current member of parliament for Kipipiri constituency in Nyandarua County that transformed his entire life propelling him to these pivotal moments towards a future full of hope and limitless opportunities here in America. And without wasting a lot of time, let's get right into the show. Almost three decades ago, amidst the vibrant neighborhoods of Nairobi County, Roraka constituency, Korogocho, Erastas Mwangi's life journey began. Our quest to unveil this remarkable story led us into the heart of Koch, as we ventured through the intricate corridors of the slums, each twist and turn unveiled the resilience and fortitude of the community. The narrow alleys, bustling with activity, painted the picture of the place that shaped Mwangi's journey, making him resilient amidst the daunting challenges here. Mwangi takes us back to his childhood years, where he fondly reminiscences about life here. Okay, so this is where I grew. This is as you've heard. This was the place where I was born, literally. So I grew here from, I was born in 1986, so from 1986 up to, I think it's 2010 when, I, when we moved out of here. So I've grown from here. So these were all my neighbors, these were all my neighborhood. In fact, now it's built up. It was not like this when, when we were growing up. Despite the adversities, their resilience and determination kept the flame of hope alive in their hearts. However, the trajectory of Erasta's aspirations took a sharp turn when tragedy struck. His father, while diligently working for a security company, fell a victim of an ambush, enduring hail of bullets. This devastating event shocked Erastas and his family to the core, casting a heavy shadow over their hopes and dreams. He recounts how his family persevered through tough times, with his mother taking up the task of making homemade soap for sale to make ends meet. The only breadwinner by that time was my mom. I told you she was selling that soap, so the soap it was not that marketable, but that's what she did to survive. So as we were, while we were waiting here, we would go fetch uh, the, uh, the source of wood, uh, fire for her, then bring her. So we stayed home for more than three weeks. Despite his eagerness to learn and pursue his education, the burden of financial constraint weighed heavily on Erastas and his aspirations. The same fate followed us even after clearing, even after being the top student in the school, I could not secure funds to go to, go to secondary. So I stayed home for the year, for one year. Then uh, that's when, uh, then after the year, after one year of trying to seek scholarships and everything, the next year that's when I still I, I actively looked for opportunities for scholarships. So that's when I went to equity equity bank so that's where I, I was lucky to find the then madam Beatrice but now no no so that's where I was able to find her as, as a tailor she was working at a tail, as a tailor at that time so I explained to her my situation how I, uh, I had finished school but still stayed home for a year now this another year but still they, I have no hopes, I have no plans. Erastas approached her, who upon hearing his story felt burdened to help him navigate through his educational journey. So again, I feel very emotionally connected because we can make you a very dear, 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 dear,
So the only option was a drop shooter. I'm a real that type. So the Kamandia watch a Makarakasi where they were running to Jekesha. So when we came to that morning, we come up with a stars. CC branch yet to go slums. But our total video attached to the set to come as stars. Erastas recounts this transformative encounter, highlighting the compassion and generosity of Honorable Wanjiko, whose support would ultimately change the course of his life. She took an initiative, she got her friends together. Uh, there's a friend called Mirian, there's another one called Helen. I remember them very good. So they came together, contributed funds, and got me into school. So, Honorable Anjiku worked with me throughout my journey in Form 4. So she was always there. They took care of everything. And God willing, I finished on time in 2014, where I got good grades. Uh, I got an A- minus of 76 points, which enabled me to join uh, the Dankimati University of Technology to pursue Bachelor of Science degree in civil engineering. So apart from that, she has also been instrumental. She offered me internship immediately after my Form 4, where I learned a lot, which I did not know. So coming from this background, uh, there was little exposure. However, amidst his unwavering dedication and determination, his lowest moment came crashing down in 2021, when he tragically lost his father. His devastating loss struck Erastas at a pivotal juncture, just as he was fervently figuring out how to return to school after several years of dropping out of university. Then 2021, as I was preparing to go back to school, again, the unfortunate happened. I lost my dad again. So I had to rethink, I had to regather and regroup and, uh, and plan for the future of my, of my little brothers and sisters. Luckily, I got my friends, so many of my friends, I was actually educated by friends in, in my fifth year, the final year. So first of all, my classmates came together, contributed some amount, and gave me uh, my, 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 for the school fees. Then monthly, those with the ability to contribute something and send me something for upkeep. I also had other friends at school, all the other staff whom we had interacted with whom I'd call and I'd talk to when I had financial issues. And God willing, through his masses, I was able to complete school. Despite the prevalence of vices like drug abuse in his community, Erasta stayed true to his values and principles, a testament of his upright upbringing. Life in coach, of course, it's a, it's a very difficult one. There are a lot of challenges being brought up in coach. So one of them is drug abuse. So this is rampant. So all types of drugs uh, are available in coach, especially so especially the most rampant is we have we have bang and changa. So these are almost everywhere. Right? If I had showed you even where they are brewing, they are brewing it openly. So it is normal here. Bang is normal. But I'm glad I, I've gone through, I've lived in coach my entire life, but I managed to come out of coach, not being a drug, not having used drugs. I played very well. I was a good student. I was a good player in taekwondo, and uh, I actually managed. There was, there was a time I managed to do, to make it to the national team, to the junior national team. So I was a good player. Uh, I'm actually a taekwondo black belt holder. Currently, I have a black belt in taekwondo, the first gun, first degree. Uh, Though I got it recently, but uh, the previous grading I had done in 2010, so it's been some 10 years, 10, 20 years, some 10, no, 10 to 13 years of practicing Taekwondo without doing the grading. So if I had been constantly doing the grading as I was doing before, I'd, I'd be very far. So I'd say sports is part of it, actually most of it, because so I'd go to school, then immediately after school, I, I, I I go for training, so it takes my, your energy, it takes your thoughts. And so, because you, you're interacting with sportsmen who are clean people, 
okay by clean means you're supposed not to be using drugs so you end up being one of them his formative years were shaped by the tight knit community with his neighbors and from our conversation with some of them it was clear from the early days Erastas was destined for greatness, his potential waiting to be unleashed upon the world. I was a young man who 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 the program has established wonderful partnerships to ensure that students have a seamless journey throughout all the processes involved, from the initial application to their travel arrangements and studies abroad. The goal is to create a supportive and efficient experience for each student, empowering them to focus on their education and personal growth with unwavering confidence. Students who travel using the program's official airline, Qatar Airways, enjoy fantastic benefits, including discounted tickets. These incentives are thoughtfully designed to promote international education and offer students a wonderful and enriching experience as they pursue their academic dreams abroad. We find it prudent to waiver some of the services because students cannot be able to afford. They're not traveling for leisure, they're traveling to go and study. It's only, it will not only give you discount on the first flight, it's a graduational discount because you understand that you still come back home to meet with your parents, you'll have summer breaks, you'll have educational tours. So for the first flight you get 10%, for the second flight you get 15%, for the third flight you get 20% and on your graduation of flight we give you 20%. Through an enriching partnership with KCB Bank, students gain access to diaspora banking services and products tailored to the unique needs of international students. And that's why we have a very superior platform that enables you to access your banking services wherever you are through our KCB internet banking platform. So even as you're traveling, you do not need to be worried about how will I be able to access funds. Probably uh, somebody will be putting money in your account and you want to access it when you're abroad. Please be rest assured that as KCB Bank, we are fully committed and will give you a very reliable platform that will enable you to access uh, your finances wherever you are. Our program is proud to have established connections with various friends and supporters from different sectors. These dedicated allies share our commitment to empowering international students and ensuring they have a seamless experience while studying abroad. So we are happy to partner with Kenya Airlift program. We wish them the best and we believe as Kenyans we need to support each other. When we see someone has an idea, it's good to support each other and uh, because uh, be because it is easier when we are all winning than when you are winning alone or when we are all not winning. This shared dedication was evident in our recently held by annual luncheon where we came together to celebrate and honor the students who are embarking on their educational journey to North America this fall. The event was a heartwarming testament to the collective effort of our community working hand in hand to provide these young scholars with the support and resources they need to thrive academically and personally. During his time as an intern at Honorable Wanjiko Mohia's office, Mwangi witnessed her master's degree pursuit abroad. Her dedication inspired him and she expressed her desire to one day help him pursue a similar path. University of Sunderland. So, so time she was doing her assignments and I don't know what I mentioned that she was doing her assignments in the office. Then she just said, I don't know if she can remember herself, but if I had the money, mm -hmm. that's the same. Make sure I go for your study something. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether she remembers that, but I remember it so clearly in my head. Erastas is now grateful that what was once a merely a dream is now a tangible reality. He reflects with gratitude on the journey that has transformed his dreams into a living reality, filled with promise and opportunity. And I'm grateful that now it's no longer a wish, it's no longer a dream, it's a reality. Amazingly, Erastas discovered the program through the same selfless leader 
who had been his steadfast supporter throughout his journey. When she reached out to him with this exhilarating news about the opportunity, he says it with unwavering determination and boundless enthusiasm. I was lucky again. Same, same person. Still the same honorable uh, chief who called me and told me about the, uh, the program. So I had never heard of this before. And she called me and said, hey, Master, so you be willing to study something which has something business related. I said, why not? So then I took an from there she connected me to Bob and uh, that's when I got uh, I got access to the website, to the handbook, and got to read and understand about the program. And uh, that's where I began the process of application. Believing in the program's transformative power, Wanjiko supported Erastas through every step of the process, from application to the nerve wrecking visa interview day. You are watching the Kenya Airlift Program show, brought to you by the Kenya Airlift Program. The Kenya Airlift Program is an award-winning initiative that helps brilliant Kenyan students achieve the dream of studying in the U.S. regardless of their financial background. You can find all our programs by going to www.kenyaairliftprogram.com. The Kenya Airlift Program, passion, led us here. I called my manager from constituency and some family members. He needs support. It's a very delicate moment when the American visa be to Naskia what we have So he needs some support to go with him. So together na yeye na manager wangu na our people na kaka na tense mood. We were just tense. But we had done a prayer on a Sunday. And we had done a prayer in the office, and even as we were going, I was still praying. Mm. With gratitude in their hearts, they embraced the joy of this milestone, cherishing this moment of triumph, reigniting their hope for a brighter future. Yeah. Yeah. It was God, and He called us to go to a center in Bodia, and it was very, very uh, good moment for us. So his ticket is paid by Kenya Airlift program, the accommodation is paid, and it is only remaining me in Bariki, Bariki Safari Yake. From here we are going to do shopping for him. From there we shall do lunch in a family yako and family welfare party. He don't go to in a small way. Then they release the young man to the United States of America. For this reason, Mwangi and his mother offered a song of thanksgiving to their maker, acknowledging that without God their journey wouldn't have been achievable. The incredible encounter with Honorable Wanjiko, initially a stranger, turned out to be the greatest blessing, not only for him but also for opening doors of opportunity for his other siblings, extending the ripple effect of support and empowerment throughout his entire family. So you're on the, on the holiday, Sasa? Yeah. January around 8. 8. Okay, so I'm sure we shall be supporting you yeah. from where we have found you to the end. Mm -hmm. Na tutarajie utaperform vizuri sana na wewe pia ufuate Rastas America. Ndio mm -hmm. mwenchikari juu msichana mm -hmm. ata yaseme hawezi baki hapa Korogocho pia yeye aende America. Huyu mm -hmm. kijana pia aseme ataenda kisha mkujie mama yenu. Mm -hmm. Ama namna gani? Mm -hmm. Sasa tutapanga. Uyu naye amefanya standard hii amefanya class 8 mm -hmm. akapata 279 mhm mm sasa ni kipsea amefanya grade 6 mm -hmm. so niko hivyo kulikuwa na candidates wawili huyu ameitwa 
Now armed with the opportunity afforded to him, Erastus envisions a future where he can pay forward the same generosity that changed the course of his life. With a deep-rooted desire to uplifting his community, Erastus plans to establish a foundation aimed to touch the lives of deserving brilliant children through education. My own foundation, which can come here and help children from coach, be able to identify children based on their needs and not on the, how their family is, but based on their needs and be able to help them achieve their dreams. Her mother's unwavering support was the cornerstone of Erasta's journey, and it was with her blessings that he undertook the intricate process involved. They offered prayers of thanksgiving, recognizing God's hand in every step of their journey, from the depths of hardship to the pinnacle of triumph. But you have brought a distinction to a uh, honorable end. Yes. To go back. Yes. To what had propelled this journey to this far. Yes. And to say thank you to God. Yes. May you receive all the yes. Thank you, God Almighty. Honorable Wanjiko Mohe, a gesture of personally shopping for Erastas Mwangi, showcased a rare and genuine display of support, like a nurturing mother caring for her own child. Despite her esteemed position, her humility and genuine concern for Erastas' well-being shone through in this act of kindness. Loved ones congregated to bid farewell to Erastas, while a Samta's cake graced the occasion, embodying the depth of their bond and the richness of his journey ahead. Indiana University of Pennsylvania, founded in 1875, stands as a distinguished institution with a total student population of 9,044, including 1,865 postgraduate students. Located in Indiana, Pennsylvania, the university has a welcoming atmosphere and a higher acceptance rate of 93%. For those seeking higher education at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, the yearly out-of-state tuition fees amount to $18,854. The university is a reputable choice for academic pursuit with a commitment to providing a conducive environment for learning. Through the Kenya Airlift Program Lending Partners, aspiring students have the opportunity to access financial support for tuition and living expenses at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Furthermore, students attending this great university through the Kenya Airlift Program receives a tuition scholarship for 36 credit hours, amounting to $12,538, which is approximately 2 million Kenyan shillings. The application fee of $60 approximately 10,000 Kenyan shillings, as well as an evaluation of transcripts which cost around $250, which is also approximately 30,000 Kenyan shillings, is also waived for them. Further, reducing the financial barriers and ensuring that deserving Kenyan students can access quality education at Indiana University of Pennsylvania through the Kenya Airlift program. To qualify for the Kenya Airlift program at this school, one must be willing to study the following STEM courses. Master of Science in Applied Mathematics, MBA Supply Chain Management, and MBA in Business Analytics. On December 29, 2023, a highly anticipated day dawned for Erastas and his family, bringing with it a surge of anticipation for Erastas and his family, their hearts aflame with the approaching realization of the American dream. The day is finally here, uh, the years late for the American dream, the months, now it's finally two hours, the American dream is alive. So, grateful for being here today, where I'm hours away it was a time of tender embraces and heartfelt farewells each hug each whispered word of encouragement carried the weight of years of shared memories and unspoken hopes Erastas expressed immense gratitude to Bob Mwiti, the esteemed founder and managing director of the award-winning program, and Honorable Wajinjiko, whose pivotal roles have shaped his journey towards realizing his American dreams. 
I send special gratitude to one, uh, one Mr. Bob Muti, uh, the managing director of the Kenya Airlift Program. He's, uh, I'd say he's got sent to come up with such a program, the Kenya Airlift Program, where they assist students with the application, uh, everything, securing the relocation process. They even help some students secure graduate associateship and scholarship uh, in American universities. I'd say he's, he's God sent. So, apart from which I thank all the staff at the early program, uh, their total hard work, their commitment as a whole, have been able to reach uh, to help me secure the graduate associateship. So, to help me get admitted in American universities, so I'm grateful for all the support. In all the stages, so school application, loans application, uh, relocation, expenses, and other things are really great. And I uh, pray that the program will last forever. Where I'm hours away from fulfilling my American dream, because of courtesy uh, of Honorable Chief Mohia. She's taken me to a secular school, she took me to university. Finally, she's also helped me with this journey to pursue the American dream. And finally, I'm here I'm on my way to the US. I'm eternally grateful to her for her love, for her support, for her comfort, for her advice. I, I really, I don't know how, how I can thank her. She's really more of a mother to me. She's been motherly to me. I would say, uh, you go ahead, be a good student. The school, of course, comes uh, very well in the studies, be inspirational to other students. So, go ahead, journey masses, and pray that you have a change in your life. Go ahead, thank you. And to the Kenya Airlift program, she had this message to convey. I want also to take this opportunity to thank the Kenya Airlift program and say thank you very much. We have got open your territory, give me the opportunities for many Kenyans. And as you are there, also remember your family. We have given you this opportunity so that you can change your family, the society, and even our country. With departure imminent, Mwangi's anticipation surged as he envisioned the journey ahead as a gateway to transformative opportunities for himself, his family, and his community beyond the horizon. Even as I'm going to undertake uh, supply chain management, I also learn to learn how the assistants, the engineer assistants work and other another thing, innovations and inventions that are only available in the developed countries. So I'm really looking forward to learn a lot. Maybe when I come back, when I come back, I shall come with a lot of knowledge, a lot of skills that can be able to be honest in our, in our countries for, uh, to the better the states of our country. Erastas embarked on this captivating journey, navigating his flight path from the vibrant cityscape of Nairobi to the bustling city of Doha before soaring across the vast expanse of the Atlantic to touch down in the historic city of Philadelphia. As he made his final descent into Pittsburgh, he felt the culmination of his American dreams drawing nearer than ever before. There, he was warmly received by one of the Kenya Airlift Program students, marking the beginning of his remarkable odyssey to Indiana University of Pennsylvania. At Indiana University of Pennsylvania, Erasta seamlessly integrated into his new surroundings, embracing the warmth of the community. As Erasta forges ahead in his academic journey and endeavors in this land of boundless possibilities, his story serves as a beacon of hope, illustrating the limitless opportunities that await those who persist in their pursuit of the American dream. And as we come to the end of today's show, we wish Erastas continued success and fulfillment in his academic journey and beyond. May his story continue to inspire countless others to pursue their dreams relentlessly, knowing that with determination and resilience, the American dream is within reach for those who dare to chase it. You have been watching the Kenya Airlift Program show, brought to you by the Kenya Airlift Program. Come back again next time for more fascinating stories of our beneficiaries as we take you through their journey right from their villages to the USA in pursuit of the American dream.